I'm Eris, writer for Bad Astra and Miss Frizzle cosplayer. Astra is too busy getting married this month, so I'm in charge of the video, which means it's going to be another video of just me quickly going mad. Today, I'm going to be talking about what calories are and also making Claire Saffet's chocolate buttermilk cake. I also just want to say shout out to Astra. Uh, thank you for doing the math for this one. Calories are a form of measurement for energy, not morality. When your secret desk crackers for when you get super hungry in the office, uh, say 80 calories per five crackers, that means that each cracker is gonna have 16 calories. And that's assuming that you can fit a whole cracker into your mouth, which I can. When it comes to calories, you need them to exist and basically to do things. So if you are going to be doing something that requires a lot of energy, like hiking or running a marathon or varsity sports, you, you're going to need more calories. <laughs> you know, um, I was actually a varsity sports person. You can tell because I'm using the correct terminology. But yeah, here's my varsity letter. We are athletes of emotion. This was all inspired by me being curious about how many calories uh, would one bite of the sun be. We also needed to figure out how much my mouth could hold. And I found out that it is 73.9339 milliliters. That is the maximum capacity for my mouth with liquid in it. I have had this information for over a year. I need somebody to know. I don't know if it, that's changed within a year. I doubt it, it has because I haven't really been like exercising my mouth muscles. I haven't been doing a lot of stretching activities for it. Um, except for Coral practice. So in comparison, Science Tommy's mouth can fit 157.7 milliliters of liquid. I didn't get Astra's because she went, what the fuck are you doing? Which is the correct response to this. Put in the comments, how many milliliters of water do you think Astra can fit in her mouth? at maximum capacity. <laughs> She's gonna hate me for that one. I'm back. I managed to do the first two. Yay, Matt. I kind of know what I'm doing. A cucumber is on average around 300 grams. So divided by my mouth's maximum capacity, rounded a little bit up, is 74. So I could probably eat a cucumber in four bites if I was really trying and I'm not going to. Why am I allowed to be an adult? <laughs> in those 300 grams, there's about 45 calories in a cucumber. So divide that by four, which is going to be the amount of bites that I could take, uh, would be 11.28 calories uh, if I filled my mouth to capacity with cucumber. Chicken marsala has a lot of calories in it, uh, again, which is a form of energy. So about 142 grams of chicken marsala as a serving divided by 74, which again is the capacity of my mouth, is two bites. I could potentially eat a full serving of chicken marsala in two bites. I'm starting to think that maybe my method is uh, flawed. It's one fourth, one fourth, one fourth, one fourth. One fourth. There are about 356 calories in 142 grams of chicken marsala, so divide that by my two bites, and you get 178 calories in a bite. I'm not gonna clean it because I <laughs> can't be bothered. <laughs> if you were to take a bite of the sun, we're gonna go for this one first because it's already been done. All of our sources are down below. Uh, it would be 10 trillion calories. And it would die, but like, kind of wanna. <laughs> so, 
citric acid has 2.5 calories per gram. And since milliliters and grams are kind of the same, it's basically 2.5 times 74. Now I'm not going to do math. I also was curious about moon rocks. I want to eat one. How many calories are in it, Astra? Turns out there are no calories in moon rocks because your body cannot digest them. <laughs> They're very similar to earth rocks in that respect, which was kind of disappointing. I kind of wanted to eat the moon <laughs> and gain like some sort of superpower from it. You know, control the tides and all that. <gasps> what if I became Sailor Moon if I ate the entire moon? <laughs> Another one that I had along a similar line was lava, because when you look at pictures of lava, it looks delicious. I want to eat it. That's a way that I want to go out, eating lava, eating the sun, eating lava. I just want to be warm when I die. <laughs> it is between 300 and 500 calories for a small lava. Oh, she means chocolate cake, like chocolate lava cake. She did eventually understand that, of course, I'm not going to ask her the calories in different food. I'm going to ask her about molten rock lava. Okay, so Astra is doing this math based off of molten lava hitting the ocean in terms of how many calories that would release in energy. Lava apparently is uh, 1,150 degrees Celsius about. Normally it's made out of basalt rocks. Um, and has a specific heat of 0 0.306 kilojoules per kilocalorie. The J is for joules, right? K, like lowercase k and the uppercase J. God, I should have asked Astra to dumb this down. So for one kilogram of lava to be brought down to, from one, 1150 degrees Celsius to uh, 15.5 degrees Celsius, it has to lose, you do more math, um, but in the end, one kilogram of basalt lava comes out to 163.36 calories. Though, if I had to choose between the dying from the calories in a bite of lava, which seems a lot more accessible, um, I think I would rather go for the sun, you know, go big or go home. I want the 10,000 calorie death, thank you. Well, I guess this is turning into uh, <laughs> Ways to Die in Space Part 2, the remix. Astra's opinion on eating lava is don't which is why she's the one who's in charge of the channel. <laughs> but Astra says, one, it's very low in nutrients, two, it's not very tasty, and three, will kill you, and that's why you shouldn't eat lava. I've learned nothing. What about ice? Specifically from Saturn's rings. Because again, I have to make this space themed somehow. So, fun fact, ice has negative calories, which I did not know, and I'm about to fuck. Quack. Saturn's rings average at negative 183 degrees Celsius. So, for one kilogram of ice, there's a lot of math. And then she comes out to negative uh, 217 calories. More egg, more egg, more egg, more egg. Um, I've always kind of wanted to know how many calories are in the Geico Gecko? It's just... Looks kind of tasty. So, the Geico Gecko apparently is a giant day gecko. And they're about 2 ounces, or around 600 grams. Lizard meat, like chicken, is usually around 50 calories per ounce. And assuming that he wasn't deep fried, the Geico Gecko could fit into a 100 calorie snack pack. I don't know if that's true for the computer code, like if I were to eat that instead, because he's, I know he's not real. Neutron stars are super heavy and super dense. I've always wondered what it's like to take a bite out of them. 
but neutrons and stars are about 1 million or 10 to the 6 degrees Celsius and are around 4 thirds solar mass. So one and a third. I could do that one. That comes out to 2 times 10 to the 30th kilograms. I'm going to put the math on the screen. This is uh, from an academic paper that Astra had to read in order to get these numbers. But what it came out to in the end was 4.78 times 10 to the 63rd calories, kilocalories, about. It's a lot of calories. Again, another fantastic way to die. Glow stick fluid. Because I was curious, how many calories did Sun and Tommy eat? Hydrogen peroxide is zero calories. And then diff, diphenyl oxalate. Diphenyl oxalate. Astra just says, just don't. Um, but fun fact, glow stick fluid is not technically toxic. But please do not drink it. So now is the part where Astra got annoyed with how much research she had to do for this video for me because I can't do math. There is a list of bonus ones that did not make it into the final cut of her math stuff and I still wanted to include them so I am about to make up numbers like the responsible content creator that I am. Oh my god. How, uh, how many calories would a light bulb turned on have versus turned off? And based on the educated guess that I can make from Astra's calculations, the light bulb turned on will actually have calories, whereas the light bulb turned off will not. Let's call it 100 calories. I feel like that's right. Science says my feelings again. Now, Jupiter has atmosphere. What's it made out of? Don't ask me. I don't retain that sort of information. I don't retain any information, actually. I am just a void. The atmosphere of Jupiter turned into a slushy. If hydrogen peroxide has zero calories, and I know there's hydrogen in Jupiter's atmosphere, actually it would be negative because it's uh, cold and a slushy. So if you want negative calories, let's call it negative. No, it would have to be negative zero. Call it negative 20 calories for Jupiter atmosphere slushies. Now is the hard part because I do not have a scale. Quack. I forgot to add the buttermilk. <laughs> I just wanted to make a nice cake for New Year's. All right. Many unbearable hours later.